First day I got it, how she's sitting now. I was able to pick it up for about. I have another car in route as I'm recording this. So many air to fuels here. Basically, it's out here compulsion 1446 plus turbo off roading. Wrapping the car. I gotta give a shout out. 85. She is clean sometimes. All right, so I've had the car for about a full year. I got it when it was completely stocked. So I thought it would be a good time to kind of do a little transformation from the first day I got it up until now, how she's sitting now. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to go in this nice bright area, but they blocked it off with chains and some wall stuff. So we're gonna be talking over there. The lighting won't be as great, but we'll do it. We'll make it work. So when I got the car about a year ago, it was completely stock. I'll probably throw some photos on screen, low mileage under 3000 miles. MSRP or the sticker I should say was about 33,000 and change. I found it locally used private seller under 3000 miles. I was able to pick it up for about $22,000, which at that time the prices were going up, but looking at them now, that was a really, really good deal. So let's start walking up to it right now and see what I've done to it compared to when it was completely stock. Now I have a list so I don't miss anything, although I may still forget things. And she's not the cleanest. I promise she is clean sometimes, but you know, we'll work with what we have. I will notate that the first thing I did to the car was the OZ Ultra Legera bronze wheels in the Eibach Springs. I had to get rid of those heavy factory abarth wheels and i wasn't the biggest fan of the style of them and then it just looked like the car wanted to go off-roading from the factory so i did those first but i'm gonna pull out my list so i don't forget you know everything and i'm gonna go over everything that i've currently done as it sits right now because pretty soon the 1446 plus your compulsion turbo is going to be going on and once that goes on we're putting the exhaust manifold ported and polished phase three tune so we're going to have some more power increases at that point so for now we're just going to cover everything that's been done to it so far all right so we're going to talk power first it's running a your compulsion phase two tune which includes their exhaust burbles option they also have a pops and bangs a bit more aggressive i have the burbles i'll probably throw in some sound clips real quick It's also running the Euro Compulsion Race Intercooler, which has some extra ducting on the sides. I don't know if you can see them on the right and then on the left over there. The Race Intercooler is a bit of an upgrade from their normal upgraded 124 Spider Intercooler. It's got some extra taps and stuff for water, meth, nitrous, different types of like uh, reading for exhaust gas temperature and other things. It's got the ducting, of course, that I just mentioned. So I opted for the race intercooler from your compulsion, although their normal upgraded one is also really good. And I know people running them, putting out some good power. It's got the your compulsion V4 intake. This is the red one with the carbon fiber. It looks beautiful and functions beautiful because it's a true cold air intake. It's not just the open filter that sits right on top, which those might sound good, but you're not going to really get too much power and you might actually lose power with those. While we're still over here, I also upgraded to the Alfa Romeo 4C coil packs and NGK spark plugs underneath. Also from your compulsion, they come pre-gapped by them. Those are in there to help with the extra power that the car is pushing. Going back under the hood real quick because I forgot. We got a Forge atmospheric blow valve hiding over there. And we have the Forge wastegate actuator over here. Moving to the back over here. I'm running the full Ragazone exhaust system. Most of you guys know this by now. I love this system. The tips are massive. I think they look awesome. It fills out the rear really nicely. This includes their downpipe with high flow cat, the cross pipe, the mid pipe, and this is actually the valved axle back. They have a cheaper option, which is not valved. And as some of you may know, I am an authorized dealer for Ragazone. So if you want a Ragazone system on your car, let it be a 124 Spider or something else, just reach out to me. I'll do what I can, get you guys a good price and everything. They have the valve, the non-valve for a bunch of different cars, but I love this. I think it sounds super aggressive. I basically drive with it open probably 99% of the time, but those few times where it is, you know, laid out, quiet, I wanna keep things a little more quiet out there, I'll close the valve. So it is nice to have that. As mentioned before, we got the OZ Ultra Legera wheels and a matte bronze finish. This comes from the factory from OZ with the matte bronze. The wheel size is actually the same. When I say size, I mean like it's still 17 by seven, but the offset is different. The offset is a plus 
37 where the factory i think i want to say it's like a 45 or something i don't know but basically the plus 37 pushes them out more and because of that i only have to run five millimeter eye box spacers and no one has to i just did it because it gives it a nice flush look as you can see and it, it wasn't too big you know five millimeters very small but it gives it a nice stance i think i like the way it looks like this could it be lower yes we'll get to that in a second so the oz wheel 17 by 7 matte bronze the tires are extreme contact to the continental extreme contact sport and they went up minor the stock is 205 205 45 17 and these are 215 45 17 so slightly wider and much stickier than the factory tires it's also sitting on ibox springs the pro kit which is not the lowest i'll say that right now it is not the lowest look out there could it sit lower yeah would it look nicer probably but the roads are not the best over here in jersey so i went with these and i'm super happy with them they feel nice i haven't done any like you know track racing or autocrossing i haven't done any of that yet so from that perspective i can't say much but just from a general aesthetics the way they look and the way it drives and feels i'm super happy with the ibach pro kit can't forget this little guy we got the stubby antenna should have came like this from the factory the factory one is just huge so we got the little stubby i think it adds a nice little visual appeal to it in the rear end over here let's go on the inside now because i love interior modifications this is like driver focus this is the cockpit this is where you're sitting let me turn these lights off so when it comes to the interior right here you're going to notice the guardian design steering wheel i'm in love with this thing it is beautiful it looks amazing it feels amazing completely custom i have a video i'll link above basically there'll be videos linked above and below in the description that will go further into any of the mods that i have that i do have videos that go further into it basically it's alcantara on top um this is like a punched leather almost and uh, what do they call Asento. it's black with red beneath it might not be picking it up the best i also want the black trim pieces they used to be silver on the factory wheel black alcantara on the bottom the red alcantara stripe on the top and red stitching matches the factory red gauge amazing i love that we also have a racing shift knob which i have too many of these i probably have like four of them i think at this point and one of my favorite mods is this p3 boost gauge which i just recently became an authorized dealer for it does i say boost gauge but it does so much more plugs into your obd2 port and reads a ton of parameters and data from there it also has a direct boost tap under the hood with an analog boost sensor that's where it picks up the boost let me actually turn it on real quick so right now we're on boost it's reading vacuum so it's got a peak boost recall on the left here which i just started it so it ain't going anywhere we have boost coolant temp speed battery voltage shift this is actually your rpms which you can set a custom shift light if you would like intake air temperature exhaust gas temperature it's got so many things it has so many air to fuel zero to 60 timers back to boost it's got so many features it's so minimalistic and sleek it doesn't add any clutter onto the dash anywhere it goes into the factory air vent it still makes the air vent completely functional i don't know if you can tell but the holes around it it's completely functional that's what i love about this you don't lose anything as far as the vent and you don't add any clutter and it could do so much it also clears and reads trouble codes okay i'm not gonna go too in depth if you want we'll have another video on that and if you are interested in one don't you know hesitate to reach out to me we have it for the 124 spider right now as you can see and other cars as well another little minor modification that i did recently which i think looks really good is these smoked sequential side markers so if i turn this on real quick it's a smoked side marker with the sequential turn signals very minor but i think it just looks great even when you lock and unlock it flashes like that the black really blends in nicely and i think i think that covers all the modifications that i've done to the car oh one more on the interior those shift boots right there the shift boot and the shift what do you call the shift boot and the e-brake boot are from redline goods that's real napa leather super soft with red stitching from the factory it's fake leather with black stitching the black and red look amazing again it ties into all the black and red that's already in the abarth and the napa leather obviously feels much better than that fake leather you know the stock seats already have the red stitching so it just kind of blends together really nicely and like i said i love these type of interior mods 
the exterior, of course, I want my car to look good. I want it to sound good. I want it to be fast, but I'm the driver. So when I sit in my car, I love getting in this car because of the way I set up this interior. Little things here. This is an amazing phone holder. It's magnetic. I will link it below in the description. I got it from Amazon. Holds the phone. There's a magnet between the case and the phone. I've launched a car, driven aggressive over bumps and everything. It's never fallen once. And I got to give a shout out to the squash scented air spencer air freshener which is going to be available at driven district very soon it's a very very popular and famous product in the jdm scene comes straight from japan this particular one kind of has a blue carbon fiber yes it doesn't blend well with the car but that's just the color they had for the scent i wanted so i put it in for now i could always buy a different cart uh, what do you call cartridge like holder and then slide in the scent that i want but squash is such an amazing scent don't be scared because the word squash sounds weird it smells amazing so that's gonna be it this basically covers let me try and get this to focus all the modifications that i've done to my fiat 124 spider at barth it's a 2017 it's got the luxury collection which includes you know the upgraded the leather seats i think they're slightly upgraded the headlight visibility package which if you guys have seen my post in the facebook groups you know to me you gotta have these gotta have them i think they look amazing now let's quickly talk about what i'm gonna do to the car so now as far as what i'm gonna do to the car let's see i got a little list here so i don't forget again oh yeah so i did the front smoke side markers in the rear there's a little red area that i'm probably i already have them actually it's just a smoked rear i don't know side marker i guess you call it i don't know those are going to go in pretty soon i actually have a carbon fiber rear duck bill lip spoiler very minor it looks really nice though i think it looks sleek on this car that's going to be going on soon obviously the euro compulsion 1446 plus turbo is going on soon and at the same time i'm getting a ported polished and coated exhaust manifold as well both those are going in once they go in phase three is going on it's going to really up the power especially at the top end and then I really don't know. It really depends into the future if I feel like going all out. If I do, then um, you know maybe E85, maybe water meth, maybe whatever else your compulsion has up their sleeves. We'll see what what's coming, you know. And wrapping the car. Yeah, that was the thing. I had another video on that. I want to go with the dark satin gray we got to see because i have another car in route as i'm recording this when this comes out it might be here already i don't know i didn't say too much about what it is in past videos a lot of people guessed alphas or fiats i will say it's not an italian car and it's not an american car i like my uh european and japanese cars more which is funny because this thing's a blend of both but i like my european jdm cars more we'll leave it at that it's not an alpha it's not a fiat it's not american either you can drop a guess if you want it should be here soon i'll do a reveal that one's gonna i got some big plans for that one that one's probably gonna beat out the spider as far as performance in the long run so that's probably it for this one hopefully you guys enjoyed it the transformation the one year transformation of the fiat 124 spider if you did go ahead and like the video drop a comment let me know what you think of everything that i've done your opinions whatever and subscribe for more we're going to be doing giveaways soon as all you guys know visit drivendistrict.com if you want to pick up a lot of the car parts that you see here well not a lot but the p3 boost gauge ragazone exhaust some other stuff got some merch on there too some wall art canvas which is actually really nice so great way to support the channel get some cool stuff for the house or car i'll catch you guys in the next video have a great day